We're interested in both pretty basic science and also the foundational science behind applications in ultra-intense interaction and also in biophysics and materials processing. Our most basic science occurs in the really intense interaction area above 10 to the 17 watts per square centimeter where the electric field of the laser is stronger than the electric field binding hydrogen together. These are some of our topics from attosecond pulse generation to laboratory astrophysics. The way we do our science is both with experiments at home and abroad and computer simulation and analytic theory. This month I'm collaborating on experiments with a group of Dr. Lopez Martins. Here's an illustration of what happens when the laser field is strong compared to the electric field's binding atoms together. The curved mirror on the left focuses the beam to a spot in the air which breaks down. Nonlinear effects make these interesting beam patterns as you change the focus of the light, creating all kinds of new colors. Our experiments have to happen in vacuum, therefore. Some of our most interesting work lately has been on these nanostructured metal targets which absorb 90% of the light. We can model these with numerical models called PIC codes and look at the way in which the electric field propagates into these wires and accelerates the particles there to relativistic speeds. On the experimental side, we traveled to ultra-intense laser facilities around the world. This past spring, we were in Paris, France, on the LFI laser at Ecole Polytechnique. In April, we'll take our nanowire targets to SLAC, where the LCLS X-ray Free Electron Laser operates. There, we'll work on the Matter in Extreme Conditions end station. This is a facility that will let us put together an optical laser of very high intensities to drive these nanowire targets, while we use the X-ray Free Electron Laser tunably to probe some very extreme and exotic conditions. On the more applied side, one of the main things we've been looking at is how intense ultrafast laser pulses interact with biotissue for applications in surgery and medicine. One of our lasers back at home is a powerful 100 femtosecond laser system for these studies. Intense femtosecond pulses are remarkable for what they can do, for instance, cutting through the steel of a rocket case without exploding the fuel inside. Applied to hard biotissues, like the samples of dentin from human teeth, the kinds of pulse trains that we can deliver can do unique things in processing. We have a patent for this, which has recently been licensed to a large laser company. Soft tissues are really important for medical applications. These show pictures of spherical cell cultures that we've grown in suspension that let us study the shock waves and other kinds of damage leading to necrosis and apoptosis. Got questions? You know where to find us.